Having a contact form on your website is a really great idea so that your website visitors have an easy way to send in questions, comments, and inquire about your services. We are continuing how to build a business website in the weekend with lesson 11, connecting your contact form. All right, so let's take a look at what we're going to be building. We've got a contact page here and we have a contact form down at the bottom. So what we're gonna be focusing on in this lesson is this contact form. Let's go ahead and fill this out. I'll put in some dummy information. All right, and now let's click send message. And we get a message saying that the message has been sent. And when someone submits that form, we will get an email saying, hey, someone filled out your form and here is what they had to say. All right, so let's start building. Okay, so I've got the contact page open in Thrive Architect. This first part was built using a block, and if you'd like to see which block that is, let's go ahead and drag this block in so we can see what it is. It was built using this product bonuses block. Below that is a simple text element, and below that is a form. So to put a form on your page, you can simply go to add element, and then search for form. And then you can use the contact form element. You'll drag that onto your page. And then you can select from a variety of forms. Now on the left here, I also wanted to point out that we do have some other form templates as well. But for now, we're going to use a contact form. And I believe I selected this one. All right, so let me get rid of this duplicate here. Now in this particular course, we are focusing on rapid implementation. So I'm not gonna go over every single thing about contact forms. If you want to learn more about contact forms, we have a great knowledge base article, which I will link below. Now, as far as the form fields, these seem to be the standard ones, name, email, and message. If you would like to add more form fields, you can do that by going to the main options tab on the left and under form fields, you can click add new. If you would like to reorder these, you can easily do that by going to the dotted lines on the left and simply clicking and dragging. You can also edit the styling of this form by going to edit form elements. But our main focus for this lesson is setting up the functionality. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a connection and then you'll need to click choose connection. And if you have integrated an email marketing service with Thrive, you will see it appear in the drop down below. And you can actually send this form information to your email marketing service. But for now, we want to set this up with email. So I'll select email. We do want to send emails from this site. So we'll leave this as it is. And under message, let's click compose email. So here you probably won't have to do much. The main thing is to set the to email. So this is the address where the notifications will be sent. I'm going to leave the from name and from email as they are. This field right here is the subject for the email when you receive that notification. And if you'd like to send a confirmation email to the user that submitted the form, you can turn this on if you like. I'm just going to leave it off. And when you're finished, click save and apply. Next, you'll have to decide what happens after someone submits the form. So you have two options here. You can either redirect them to a custom URL or you can show a success notification. I'm going to choose this one. And then you can put in a custom success message. And that is all there is to it. After somebody submits this form, you'll get an email notification with their message and you can decide whether you want to respond back via email. All right, so now your website visitors can start contacting you via a contact form. So I'm going to wrap things up. I really do hope that this course was useful and I wish you all the best in creating a high converting website for your business. You can get Thrive Theme Builder, Thrive Architect, and the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click the link in the description to learn more. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.